Hello, beautiful gardeners. Today I'm going to show you a little garden tour update of what's been going on back here. Uh, we've cleared out some junk. Still got a little junk left, but got rid of most of it. And I got some soil that you'll see how excited I was about that. And I've uh, started planting. This is my pile of 10 cubic yards of compost, composted manure, and of topsoil that I used to fill these beds. And if you notice those plants in the back, I'm going to show you them close up here. And I've got some kale that's gone to flower, and I'll collect the seeds. I've got some old carrots and beet greens. This is my yarrow. It blooms a gorgeous red. And this is my first time growing snap peas. These are sugar and snap peas, which I'm really excited about. Then I let my cilantro go to seed here. You can see it's flowering, so I can collect coriander. There are all those plants on the right. You see it's still kind of a mess. I still have a lot to clean up, but I wanted to start getting stuff in the ground because it's a crucial time for that now. And on the left here you'll see a spot where I'm building a giant raised bed that I'm really excited about that I'll show you soon. These are my Thailand giant elephant ears. They are amazing. They get huge, huge, huge leaves that are like almost as big as me. I mean, just awesome. They do like to have really moist soil, but I don't know if they like this kind of uh, waterlogged condition. Our backyard is just really, uh, it's like poorly drained, very poorly drained. And we've tried to fix that, but we still have issues. Um, I planted these last week. I didn't realize they would be this flooded. So this is the first time I've put them in this location. I might move them. I don't know, keep you updated. This area is still kind of a wreck, but that's okay. We're working on it. It's really flooded. It's mushy and gross. I've pulled up like, I don't know, dozens of yellow dock plants. It just needs a lot of work. But I have some really fun ideas. I've got, I'm gonna put a bed here, and I'm gonna put a bed here for stuff that you wanna be able to come out and cut while you're cooking, like um, edible flowers and herbs and garnishes and stuff so needs a lot of work but just figured I'd show you so you can see where it is in the process and be all like whoa when it's finally become the vision that I have for it so I planted this bed up last week with some seeds and we're starting to see some happy little sprout faces in here we got beets lettuce two different kinds of lettuce spinach parsley, cutting celery, cilantro, and some carrots. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll stay tuned in to my garden transformation because it's only going to get better and I'm so grateful to have you here. Thanks!